Okay, I bought this off eBay for me. Um, you know, trying to do me. Uh, I figured it just needed caps, so I zapped it up right quick. Um, and basically, that's what it is. Um, needed caps. And also, when I first tried to key it down, the key in circuit wasn't working. The, um, the uh, on-off or standby operate switch, that's what this mod... Um, off switch is that standby and operate uh, wasn't working correctly um, intermittent if you pushed on it it would work you let go it would stop so uh, detoxed deox deox ooh, the uh, switch um, recapped it little um, small one tube six BQ five modulator uh, little 6BQ5 in tetrode mode uh, it's basically class B or class C uh, runs high voltage uh, screen and a lot of negative bias um, grid driven um, made for uh, like 1 to 5 watts uh, going into it well dead key at like 1 to 10 coming out and uh, with a good tube it'd go up to maybe 60 peak uh, I didn't have a good tube in it. The tube that came in it was bad. I was getting 20 watts out. So I had a 60% um, tube I stuck in there. And I'm getting about 40 watts out of it. Um, like I said, I do more with a uh, good tube. But um, just showing. I think I'm keeping stuff now. Um, not really interested in selling uh, right now anyway. Um, and, you know, I've had... A lot of wind jammers over the years and um, nothing special about them except the lighting uh, most of them have just a meter like that one that's this little brother actually the same amp except this one has a uh, meter and this one has the uh, LED light display uh, which looks you know pretty cool I think anyway uh, mud duck display um, but hey sometimes you go for the looks right um, nothing really special about these modulators as compared to other modulators like the black cat um, pretty much the same premise I think the um, these white wind jammers and power modulators that do a little more the voltage is a little bit higher but uh, higher voltage higher power they're nastier and they eat tubes you know the little JB12 you know pushes that little 6PQ5 uh, hard enough and it's a tube eater but these take it to a new level the low power modulator and the uh, wind jammer um, these are about the smallest of the uh, little modulators you'll find using 16 bq 5 you know the uh, next is like something like a JB150 uses um, a single 8417 um, I had a w little willy might even have one now don't remember um, it uses a uh, 6LQ6 sweep tube uh, grid driven um, in tetro or turbo mode um, little modulator with the little willy but um, other than the watch you know these little modulators are designed to dead key low and swing high to give you some swing in that thing if you ain't got that swing you ain't got a thing to wop to wop to wop right um, that's the inside of it um, circuit board uh, for the components and then the uh, tube is mounted on the um, steel chassis there uh, not much to it you know small transformer with a lot of uh, modulators especially modulators and small amps too well even big amps people overdrive them they um, try to get too much out of them but especially a modulator again they are made for low dead key and high swing and look at that little transformer there right not too much bigger than a filament transformer so uh, you turn this thing up and with this one the adjustment is uh, you get your little hex tube and you stick in that hole there to turn your uh, dead key or make it into a variable up and down but you know you turn it up um, and it'll go up it'll do the watch but again um, they got my little dummy load curve right here. Um, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, can I do more watts? Can I drive it more? Can I, you know, I get my tech. He makes it 
do more watch again um, think of this curve again that you know if, if you want the thing to last you do these amount of watts sure it'll do this you know going up the curve for a minute not long I'm gonna stay at the shop I'm gonna blow it up but okay uh, little modulator with the little mud duck radio behind it Chris um, um, these two watt meters the one on the left is the watts going into it from the radio the watts on the right is uh, already on peak 200 watt scale again with that uh, kind of weak tube in it it's not uh, swinging like crazy but uh, that can be fixed um, by the way the um, 7189 is like a high performance um, 6BQ5 with the take more power and it to do more it'll, it'll hold up a little bit better it'll still cook them too but um, it's best to get a good uh, 7189 tube versus the uh, standard uh, 6BQ5 but anyway on this watt meter um, basically low under 4 going in talking to 5 average audio 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 not a lot going into this thing and over here on peak, we're doing about 40, maybe 45 watts. Hello, hello. Shh. Audio, audio. Again, without a hot tube. Um, yeah, with a hot tube, it would do more. We're going to show it on average. Audio, audio, audio. And I can turn that dead key down from there and make it, you know, swing more. Shh. That's pretty good for uh, swinging this um, meter into a dummy load calibrated like a bird. Especially you consider what's going into it. That's in. Audio, audio. That's out. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. Bye.